study lesson 3 in unit 2 sorry unit 3 <laughs> uh, this is we listen to the audio together in the gallery and listen to the book okay and you need to focus carefully if you have the book open the book and start to check that with me track 26 amazing birds laying eggs all birds have feathers, and all birds lay eggs. A hummingbird has the smallest egg. It is as small as your fingernail. An ostrich has the biggest egg. It is as big as 24 hen's eggs. Building nests. Most birds build nests for their eggs, but some birds don't. Emperor penguins don't build nests. The father penguin balances the egg on his feet. His tummy keeps the egg warm. Some birds lay their eggs on the ground. Flying. Most birds can fly, but some birds can't. An ostrich can't fly, but it can run very fast. A penguin can't fly, but it can swim very fast. Swimming. Ducks and swans can swim. They can fly too. Okay, in this uh, paragraph or in this reading, we have some tips we need to emphasize on it. Like the first paragraph, line eight. Laying eggs. All birds, here this word all, I mean all kinds of birds. Okay, all birds have feathers. And all birds lay eggs. So here I mean all birds. A hummingbird has the smallest egg. Okay? It is as small as your finger knee. This is your finger knee. Your finger knee. Okay, this part we call it finger knee. An ostrich. This is an ostrich. Has the biggest egg. It's as big as 24 hands eggs. So this is the ostrich has the biggest egg. Okay, all the nests. Here in this part, we will study a new quantifier word. Here it was all, but here we will study most. The word most means not all the birds or just some of them. No, I mean most of them. It equals maybe 80%. Okay? Here most birds will nest for their eggs. But some birds don't. But here means not all birds. Emperor penguins don't build nests. The father penguin balances the egg on his feet. If you can see the picture here, the penguin trying to balance. You know the word balances? When you are trying to, you are trying to balance your arm like this. Here the penguin trying to balance the egg between his feet. Okay, um, his tummy, this tummy, do you remember the word tummy in the body parts? His tummy keeps the egg warm. So when the big one balances the egg between his feet, he tries, it tries to keep it warm. Some birds say their eggs on there. Here's some. Some, I mean not all birds, or most, no, some few numbers of them, maybe it equals 30%. So the word all means 100%. All birds, all of them 100%. The quantifier word uh, most means 80%. The word some means 30%. Fly. Most birds can fly. So here, what kind of term the word can? Fly. Yes, fly here. Can I add my G to fly? Of course not. Can I see most birds can fly or can fly? No, because after a con we have ING. But some birds can't. Here an ostrich can't fly, but it can't run very fast. A penguin can't fly, but it can swim very fast. Swimming. Ducks and swans can swim, they can fly too. And the word to here means, yes, they can do that 
also. Here, as I said before, we have two modern verbs, can and can't, as the British accent, can or can't. In the American accent, you can see can or can't. So what comes after can and can't? Okay, after them, we have got The second word, most, birds can fly, it equals 80%. It means that all kinds of birds can fly. Some birds can swim here, that means 20, just 20% 20 of them, or 30, it's the same, but not most of them. What else? That conjunction, we use this conjunctions to one sentence to connect them with one word. So conjunctions are just we use one word to connect two sentences together. Here we have and, we have or, we have but. We use them to join that sentences. For the first one, and. We use and to connect two sentences. They are the same. Okay, they are both affirmative. Okay, here I can run. Okay? In my classroom, there are 30 
that three determinants hold almost for some. Okay? In the classroom, there are 30 students. But all the students are 30. Just 10 of them by creating in the library. Just 10 of them. And the other 20 students like playing football and swimming in the PE session. So here, space students like reading. Like reading. Only 10 students. Just 10 students from 30 students. Here the number takes what? Takes all or most of some. I think 10 is very small number. Few students. So I will use... Yes, that's right. I'm going to use some. Some students. But they are only 10. Okay. Students in grade 2. Here I'm talking about the whole classroom. So here in the classroom, they all in grade 2, or most of them in grade 2, or some of them in grade 2. No, the whole classroom in grade 2. So I'm going to use the word all students in grade 2. Question number 3. Students like playing football. Okay, I have 30 students in the classroom. Like playing football and swimming in the PE session. 10 like reading, 20 like uh, playing football. Here the number 20, it's here most students, like 80% of the students like playing football. So I can use the word most. Most students like playing football. Okay, the second question I need you to use the conjunctions and but or or. Okay. We have all birds have feathers, space, wings. All birds have feathers. We you know this information. And I think I said it. Yes, I did. Space, wings. Of course. And wings. All birds have feathers and wings. A kangaroo can jump space if it can't swim. I need to focus on the sentence. A kangaroo can jump. Affirmative sentence. Space if you want to swim. It's negative sentence. Here I need to connect between affirmative sentence and negative sentence. I'm gonna use what? Which word that I can use? Can I use and or but or or? Of course, yes, I'm gonna use but. Because but connect two different sentences. One affirmative and the second is and negative. And before the but Same, so I'm going to use but, 